Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be another edition of luxury ship products. So get ready because Debbie Downer is coming at you. So this is just a bunch of products that did not work for me that I might have hauled and maybe I liked them at first and now I don't. Some products that I bought and I haven't even used so I regret it. And then of course, I'm gonna give you alternative products that I feel work wonderfully and are worth your dollar dollar bills. So let's hop to this god awful foundation. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. No sister, this did not work. Really showed every single pore that I had and maybe even pores that I didn't know I had, it showed. It did not cover for me. It actually blended really nicely on my skin. So it does blend out really well. But for my skin, since it's so like textured and flawed, a no-go girlfriend, no. Actually, I wore it in my last video because I was testing it out and someone's like, um, I can see all your pores. Why do you have like such big pores? And I'm like, oh, it's probably because I'm wearing this foundation. Obviously it just does not work for me. I've seen reviews and it works for a lot of people. So I'm obviously on the outs with this, but it's just doesn't work for me. And I have like dry skin, but maybe if you have like more of like no pores type face if you have like more of like a perfected face that would work so i really love this foundation it's not what i'm wearing today what i'm wearing is the or the Too faced peach one this one is the um, dior forever foundation and so this one's really nice because it's pore refining and it actually camouflages texture and pores it makes your skin very even and flawless i love it i think that this is better than the star foundation and out of all of the dior foundations including the spray the airbrush one. I like this one the best. I feel like it gives me the most coverage and really refines the pores to perfection. Two setting powders that did not work. It, they are total garbage. So the first one being the Neo Setting Powder Matte to Glow Kevin Aquan. I don't know why. I have no idea what they were thinking with this product. Um, as a setting powder, ugh, very beautiful highlighter. If you like that iridescent pinky um, sheen for a highlight. It's a beautiful highlight, but for a setting powder, which that's what it's marketed for, it's not a good product. I wore this on my face and it leaves like this cotton candy pinky sheen all over the face. That does not look natural. It doesn't look good. It kind of reminded me of like when you want to like spread maybe like a creamy glitter on your face or like on your eye. And the more you spread it, the patchier it gets. That's kind of what this reminded me of product. Oh girl. This is the Victoria Beckham skin perfecting expensive as shit powder it is not worth the money. I can't even tell you what a bummer this was because at first when I used it for a video, I was like, Oh my gosh, my skin looks great. This is the key. It looks great for about mm, 25 minutes. And then your natural oils start to mix with it. If you want your makeup to last for a certain amount of time you don't want to use this product because it's not going to give you longevity to your makeup whatsoever and i know sometimes it's usually how you prep your skin that gives you that but sometimes i want a powder that really sets my makeup so it doesn't move your makeup will move like freaking crazy so and this is another thing so it's uber sheer if you guys can see here it's really sheer so i'm just gonna rub my fingers all in this to pick up the product there is no product that picks up whatsoever unless I got a crappy one, you can just see that there's no product. And maybe it's because, oh, it's really sheer and it's just supposed to give you this glow. Well, like bullshit, no, it doesn't. No, this is so not worth the money. The Locket Blotting Powder from Kat Von D is amazing. And I know it's used for a blotting powder, but I used it as a setting powder when I went to Disney. A big fluffy brush and just apply it to my face. My makeup looked flawless and lasted all freaking day. So um, I love this product to set your makeup with and to kind of touch up with. So you can take it on the go with you. It's fabulous. I love it. And then the Urban Decay, the Velvetizer. This is something that you can actually mix in with your foundation and also use it as a setting powder like I did today. It's fantastic because I feel like it actually gives you a little bit of coverage. So you get longevity, you get coverage, you get smoothness and evenness, and it's just so so good so bummed that i bought this and i feel like i watch somebody i watch like a tutorial and it looks really good on them and then 
I buy it, it doesn't look good on me. This is NARS Laguna. Um, I know it's supposed to be like universally for everybody, but honestly, I've probably tried this like four or five times and just does not work. For me, it just doesn't look good on my skin. Even though it's a warm bronzer, I feel like if I overuse it, which you can't be very liberal with this, uh, it looks very muddy. So if you use it in the right way, I feel like it's gonna be a bomb bronzer for you, but if you aren't too careful and you don't want something that's too fussy, then this is not the bronzer for you. I've been using this recently and I love it. It's the Palm Island Ciate Bronzer. This is a, they call it the bamboo bronzer probably because it's supposed to last a long time. I'm not really sure about that, but I love the color. I think it's one of those colors that you could just keep on building and building and building and you're never gonna look muddy or orange or anything like that. Wear it as light and as natural as you want or you can build it up and it's still gonna look like a sun-kissed bronze or you're still gonna add dimension to the face without looking muddy and you can't do that with this bronzer. It looks almost kind of orange on camera but when you sheer this bitch out, it looks so Okay, so this, oh my gosh, this is something else that was sent to me from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Unisex Healthy Glow All Year Hydrating Summer Tint Moisturizer. This is one of those products that self-adjusts to your own skin. And I never understood why companies did that because I thought that was like total malarkey. I don't think that anything could really adjust to like the perfect color of your skin. It just can't i don't even know how that's even possible uh, because this is very very orange um if you have like a deeper skin tone this might work for you or maybe for a guy who wants to add a little bit of color to his face and you know maybe orange works for him i don't know this does not it doesn't do anything it doesn't even out my skin tone, it didn't hide my pores, it did nothing that a primer would do, and it did nothing really that a moisturizing tint would do. So this next product, and I can't remember if I've mentioned this in like a favorites and fails, but I wanted to reiterate the fact that this does not hide your pores. This is the Miller Stick. For me, it did not do shit to my pores. Camouflage them, it kind of looked like I was putting color over them, but you could still see my pores. I didn't fill them in, it didn't do anything like that. And I don't know why. Like, does anybody else get that? I mean, I feel like it would be such a good product if it actually did what it said it would do. And maybe it does for some people. Maybe if you don't have huge craters on your face like I do, it maybe it just works for people who have smaller pores. I don't know, but it just did not freaking work for me, unfortunately. It just was not a very good product. These two products have been my lifesavers lately. It's the No Pore, the no pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Soul. This is one of those primers that is a, has a little bit of slip to it, so not only does it cover your pores, but it also I feel like adds like a shield or barrier over like rough texture and pores because it has that silicone slip to it and that way your makeup will just glide over it and it doesn't sink into your skin if that makes sense it's really inexpensive and it works wonders so i highly recommend that and then if you are bougie and you want to buy something that's super uber expensive but makes you look like a freaking goddess then you want to get the sicily double tensor long-term wearing primer this is beautiful it gives such a magnificent beautiful like look to the face like it actually your skin actually looks so healthy and smooth um you can get it on three easy pays at beautylish which is such a lifesaver especially if you just want to load up on all your favorite stuff do it through beautylish i will put the link below I, this product i actually like but i i haven't worn it one time since i purchased it so i regret it it's a regret it's the melt stacks just blend like a dream they're super super good quality i just regret it because i don't ever wear them and i have so much stuff so think before you buy something don't be impulsive and i think these are like sixty dollars for five or six shadows which I don't know. I don't know if that's really worth it because you can get so many better palettes that have, you know, 200 shadows. Like this Sephora Pro Warm palette, I've been wearing a ton. And you can do endless looks with this. It has mattes, shimmers. There's like one glittery shade. And I just think that this is so worth it. This is 60. It's the same exact price as these melt stacks. So 
and the quality is exactly the same. The Tatcha Illuminating Overnight Memory Serum is, I don't even know what this is supposed to do, but it doesn't do anything for my face. I've tried it numerous times. It has like this like jelly texture to it. It smells good, it kind of smells like their spray, but I didn't notice any miracles when I woke up. I didn't notice my face being any more illuminated and it's expensive. It's a $90 serum. If you're gonna spend $90, you're gonna get this. This is the Sunday Rally Good Jeans Serum and with the VIB sale coming up, you get instant results. You get instant perfectionism to your skin. Was that even, I don't even know if that was something that you can say, but you also get long-term benefits of the lactic, the lactic acid that helps to exfoliate. Your wrinkles are tighter, your skin's more refined. I wear this every day before my moisturizer. I love the way that it smells and it just, it's so incredibly worth it. I freaking love it so much. Just this Natasha Denona Lush Duo Palette. It's seven because she does such amazing work and I saw her use this on a model. Well, it was my bad because this is like not my coloring at all. This is actually too warm and brown. And then Tao Tao is in like every one of her blush palettes. So I have like four of these and I have this color like four times over. So the problem with this one is, is that I feel like this is not as creamy and a little bit chalky, um, unlike her other ones, which I'm gonna show you. This one is like a must, patchy. This one in sheer nude, ugh. So you've got Tao Tao or Tutu here and then sheer nude is such a beautiful neutral blush if you don't have this i think that this one would look great on a such a huge variety of skin tones even like the tau tau in here is creamier than that one so i mean it's so smooth um if you mix the two together it just makes a really pretty peachy blush so that is all for my luxury ship products i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you next time bye